Hello and welcome once again to Kitchen Corrections. Um, guys, uh, uh, you, you're actually supposed to do is. Uh, uh, actually, uh, that's not how you were uh, supposed to do it. It's a segment where I go after prominent YouTube chefs and uh, correct any little oopsies they might have made. So who's in the crosshairs of today's episode? Why, well, it's none other than Preppy Kitchen and his Dulce de Leche recipe. And since I don't know his actual name and I'm too lazy to look it up and I should have done so before filming, I'm just going to call him PK from now on. Now from how I view things, PK did two things wrong. One, this scene. I haven't had a problem with the pop tops. There are reports that bad things can happen. <laughs> Listen, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to do the hostel's lame joke and get negative reaction from the audience cliche. But here's the thing. You actually gotta tell a lame joke. That was a sentence. And second, the reason you really tuned in for was his Dulce de Leche recipe. Well, to make a long story short, in order to make my caramel eggnog, which I made back in December, I had to use cans of Dulce de Leche. But the thing is, there was no pre-made cans of Dulce de Leche, so I had to make some. So I followed PK's recipe, and it really did give me Dulce de Leite. The problem was, making it was such a long and tedious mess. So I followed PK's directions. I put the cans in a pot filled with water and set it to a boil. Once it did, I simmered it for three hours. But my god, this has to be the most cumbersome three hours of my life. Every 30 minutes, a third of the water would boil off, and I had to top it off again with cold water, which would bring the temperature down, and I have to bring it back up to a boil, which takes so much time. Oh, the, you know that white powdery residue you get after you boil water? Well, by the time I was done, it was everywhere on my stove top. I swear, it looked like Tony Montana was trying to make pasta. But the worst thing it made was the noise. Bubbles were forming underneath the cans and rising up, causing rattling noise. So much rattling noise. It sounded like I had a pressure cooker bomb in the kitchen. And having to put up with that rattling noise for three hours almost drove me insane. <laughs> uh, nope, scrap that. It did drive me insane. But it only caused minor property damage. So instead of boiling it and creating a huge noisy mess, we're going to sous vide it. Now obviously, you're going to need a sous vide machine. Link in the description if you need one. Now grab your regular 14 ounce cans of sweetened condensed milk and uh, make sure you remove the label. Especially if you don't want your viewers to find out that you bought it from that company that doesn't think water is a human right. Own a plate safe and don't buy any cans with the pull tab. PK. So submerge these in a container filled with water. Oh, make sure the water doesn't rise past your sous vide's maximum level. Now, set your sous vide to the maximum setting. For me, that's 203 degrees Fahrenheit. The kind of... Now, what consistency you want your Dulce de Leite to be at, that's up to you. If you want it to be on the uh, saucy side, let it go for about two to two and a half hours. Me, however, I like mine nice and spoonable. So we're gonna go for three and a half hours. Okay, our container has come up to temp. Let this go for three and a half hours. Oh, and check in every 40 or so minutes to top off the water. Remember, you gotta keep those cans submerged by an inch. And once you let the caramel cool down, you can either use it in recipes, like my aforementioned caramel eggnog from earlier, or grab a spoon and just dig right in. Mm. I'm going to end the episode right here before it gets age restricted. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. 
Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Oh, and uh, TikTok. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but hey, you can only spam Reddit so much. <laughs>